So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so we're back today, another video, um, and before we get back into the Master League, and I will, of course, get back into it, I wanted to do this one real quick. The big news, of course, Alexi Sanchez, gone to Manchester United, Mkhitaryan has gone the opposite way to the Gunners. So I wanted to do a video today, Man United against Arsenal, play those two lads, and just sort of get a little bit of a taste of it, a little bit of a feel for it. So, we'll play as Manchester United, of course, being a United fan myself. And we will take on Arsenal. And I'm going to turn off this live update because I don't want the formations changing. Uh, I've made a couple of tweaks. And I'm going to show you kind of what I think for formation-wise Arsenal could play with, United could play with uh, going forward. Now, we don't know if Arsenal are going to get Aubameyang or not. Uh, that will be a pretty big signing for them. But, I mean, they just bought Lacazette, you know, in the summertime. And he just hasn't really performed uh, the way that he probably should be. So, this is what we've got, right? 4-3-3 three, three for both. I think Arsenal, you know, they were playing that three at the back, weren't they? A 3-5-2, 3-5-1-1, one, one, whatever it was. Uh, they switched it up against Crystal Palace. They banged in a lot of goals. And I ultimately think on the left-hand side here, this is the kind of formation they could play. I would probably prefer Ozil sitting in the middle as opposed to being out wide. Uh, obviously, Walcott has gone off to Everton. Uh, so you could play a Wobi on the wing. You know, you could play a Mkhitaryan there and then push him inside. Um, you have other players that could play in similar positions. I mean, you've got Wilshere as well. Um, you can even push Ramsey up a little bit or, or Ozil on the wing. I mean, there's a couple of options Arsene Wenger could do. Uh, so we'll wait and see what he kind of plays with. But I would play that. Put Mkhitaryan as more of a winger to start with. See how comfortable he is because Arsenal don't have a ton of, you know, a ton of wingers anymore. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking Arsenal could possibly go for. For Manchester United, you know, this is what I would do. Um... I mean, I have Luke Shaw, Lindelof, Bailly and Valencia when they're all fit. You can mix up the back line. I mean, you could change Lindelof. You could put Smalling. You could put Rojo, although Rojo's sometimes a liability. But when he's playing well, he's playing pretty well. I mean, sure, you could switch with Ashley Young because he's been playing well as well. Uh, Matic, I would sit obviously just ahead of them. I play Pogba there. I mean, Lingard... I don't know if Lingard's a better player coming off the bench, to be honest. Uh, so if you're not playing Lingard, you've got Mata as an option. Um, Fellaini, if you want to be a little bit more oomph in there. And obviously Herrera. Um, and then when it comes to up top right now, I would go for Marcial, Lukaku, uh, and then obviously Alexis Sanchez. Now, if I put Sanchez on the other wing, he goes up to an 89. Now, this is Pez. This isn't the real world. Which, if you have a look at him, ultimately... Yeah, I know he's a left winger, but he can play in a lot of positions. Uh, but I'm going to stick him on the right just because I think Martial is more comfortable on the left. And I honestly think Alexis will cut in a lot. You'll see him come inside here. You'll see him stay out wide. I mean, he's a player that just doesn't stick in one position. He runs all over the shop. So I'm going to play him as a second striker here and see how that performs um, with Lukaku and then Martial. Rashford's been a little bit disappointing for me lately, to be honest. Um, so he really does have to perform when he comes on. Anyway, that's what we're going to go for, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and we're going to give this a bit of a go. So we're going to play a match. Arsenal, Manchester United. Should we go for the white or the black? I think we'll go for the white and the black. Uh, sorry, the red versus the black. We'll play on legend because that's mental and I think it could be exciting. 12-minute um, game, sure. And that'll do. So uh, let's dive into this and, and see how we get on. So here we go, Arsenal, Manchester United. I thought today would be uh, an interesting one. You know, let's play around with them. Let's uh, see how different they'll play. <laughs> but no, honestly, I think Mkhitaryan will it'll blossom a little bit more at Arsenal. I feel like he'll have less pressure, maybe get along with Arsene Wenger, who will give him more of a chance. Um, you know, Man United have got a lot of, of winger-type players. Difficult when you're competing with the likes of Rashford, Martial, you know, Lukaku's up there, Pogba's in the middle. I mean, he had a hard time with Katarian, so I do wish him the best, and I hope he does perform at Arsenal. For Alexis, I mean, he's going to be a quality player. I mean, he's, he's full of just... I don't even know what the word is. Full of life, isn't he? Energy. I mean, he's an energetic player that will run his ass off all game, and that's something that Manchester United need... You know, and that will hopefully get other players playing that well as well. So, here we go. Um, both players, interestingly enough, wearing number seven. 
uh, after trading or, or switching teams. Now, this is going to be difficult because I'm playing on Legend. Uh, probably was a bad idea. And here is an early chance for Mkhitaryan. Oh, he could have scored straight away. Unbelievable stuff. Well, he'll be disappointed there, won't he? And now Alexis has got a chance to show what he can do. Up against Bellerin. What a let off that was. But yeah, both players wearing number seven. Mikatarin though, will not be able to wear that number in the Europa League because Alexis Sanchez has already worn it during the season. Here is Sanchez. Lovely turn. Try to lay it outside. Well, Arsenal, they had a, a good performance in the last game. Obviously beat Crystal Palace pretty convincingly. I mean, they whacked him four goals in, what, the opening half an hour. Unbelievable by them, to be honest. Slight change in formation as well, maybe. Oh, here's Sanchez once again. Couldn't quite beat Bellerin. I mean, that's a test for him because Bellerin is very quick. He's got a cracking goal against Chelsea as well. Lacazette. Ozil. Lacazette again through the legs of Valencia. Here is Mkhitaryan. Hasn't got really any support, but there is a lot of free space for Lacazette. And a good save by De Gea all over the place. I haven't played in legend difficulty for an awful long time. I know it's pretty difficult to get the ball off them once they start playing. This is a good save. Full stretch. I have to defend. Urzil to swing it in. Now's the corner. Not bad at all. Lindelof gets it out. Valencia flicks it on. And Valencia will carry on the running. Go on, son. Might as well. Here comes Lukaku. Valencia trying to play it back to the big Belgium. They're making a right hash of it. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, you play on legend, and that's the kind of AI you get defensively. Come on, what are they doing back there, Arsenal? Just clear the ball. I mean, look at this. Cheeky ball over the top. Right here, what was he playing it back to check for? Just clear it, Koscielny. Michael Martial, will he get there? Not quite. Mkhitaryan, there he is. It's funny how you see players switching shirts. It looks a little bit wrong on them for a first couple of games, doesn't it? Lacazette, Mkhitaryan. He's playing all right, he's playing all right at the moment. Iwobi, in for that back post, headed by Lindelof. Back to Ramsey, crowded out by a few players, but he does well, and Iwobi couldn't find the target. Chance for the corner. It's going to be an outswinger. It's a good header by Bailly, and there's a volley! Oh, that was an absolute screamer. Well, Nacho, Rom, uh, Nacho Monreal, it's just wide. Mkhitaryan again. Hacker. It's a little bit clumsy by Arsenal. And here comes Alexis, and he's got the pace. Can he finish? Not quite, just about to hit it. It was good defensive play. Got to stay with Lacazette here, because he's going to go on his bike nine times out of ten. Chance to play that over the top. We've been caught. It's going to be Hacker! And still, Arsenal cannot hit the target. De Gea's furious. So the second half is off. I've made one change. Bought a matter to replace Lingard. Didn't really see Lingard a whole lot in that first half. If I'm being honest, I think Matter will be uh, a better fit. Here's Alexis. Nicely done. Beautiful. He's got such good feet, though, isn't he? Very quick on the ball. Likes this again. Matter, no matter. Didn't want you to do that. Wanted you to do a little step over and move it out your feet. I do like to do some moves with some players. Probably not the right place to do it, but have some fun with it. Lacazette. Good idea. Urzil. Urzil's just playing more out wide, and he's meant to be playing through the middle. I'm pretty sure 
Maybe they switched up the formation. Lovely play by Ozil there. He's still going in. Oh, can touch him. Ramsey with a chance. Deflection. And rolls out for a corner. Oh, couldn't get the ball off Ozil. Look at him, like Lionel Messi. Played it inside. Challenge here. Came off Mata and just got a foot on it. Arsenal have had a lot of corners so far. Failed to really do anything from them. Another wasted chance. Well played Alexis. Lukaku, and here is a chance for United to break with Mata. He's not really got the pace, but Bellerin has just stood there. It's laid inside to Alexis. Oh, that would have been bittersweet, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know why Bellerin stopped running down the flank. And Mata laid it inside. Just got there ahead of his man, but couldn't quite direct it in the post. Couldn't get there quick enough. Overlapping run, Giroud. Ramsey. Flicked outside, Mkhitaryan with an instant touch. Through the middle, Giroud again. Lindelof trying to stay with him. Back to Ramsey, flicked on to find Ozil. What a save. That is unbelievable reflexes by De Gea. Nicely worked. Lays it back on the edge of the box, flicked on. Look at that, boom. Well, Ozil has been busy. He's been the orchestrator in this game. It should be De Gea's, and it is. Back outside to Ozil again. Deflection. Martial couldn't get there. Wobi flicks it in. Jalou can't get there. Hacker. United are all over the shot. They've hit the post and they will equalise. Finally, they've deserved it. It's Olivier Giroud. It's 1-1. And it's a simple tap-in for the Frenchman who's been on the field about five minutes. Look at this constant pressure. Cleared away once. Came back inside. Great turn. This hits the post and falls back to him. And here comes Ozil. Can't get the ball off him today. Really cannot touch the German. And here he is again. He's playing out. It's very interesting because he's he should be playing through the middle as an attacking midfielder, but I've seen him out wide for the whole game. No one can seem to get the ball off anyone, and Mkhitaryan scores against his former club. And how about that? This is why I don't play on Legend. This is the exact reason why I don't bother. Because it is an absolute mission to get the ball off anyone. And it's just not enjoyable. <laughs> but for the sake of this video, I thought I'd go back and try it out. Good finish. I'll make another change. Bring on Rojo for Lindelof. Matter. It's going to be Pogba. It's a decent effort. And Martial, he could have tapped it in. It's Pogba again. But no, no, no. He was facing the wrong bloody way, wasn't he? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, we've got 15 minutes on the clock here. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a, a momentum spree. Sanchez, nice. Alexis! Oh, side netting. It's a little bit better, though. Spring the counter here. Cut inside of Bellerin. Difficult one there from that kind of angle. Pogba. It's a good challenge by Ramsey. Nothing wrong with it. Matic will go in. He's done well. And there's a chance to lay it through. Oh, Lukaku, you... Unbelievable. I didn't want you to take the massive touch like a donkey, my son. And that's not a racist joke. Donkeys generally do have large touches. Well, it's been an interesting game, isn't it? We've been dominated. I'm going to uh, hold my hands up to that one. Definitely have been. Oh, we have a chance for Jedu. Couldn't get it down quick enough. We've had a couple of chances. We saw Mikatarian score, so that's interesting and uh, a bit of banter right there, isn't it? Will shit. It's comfortable for De Gea. Right, lads, we're going gun ho now. Final minute. Alexis. Ah, couldn't do it. 
They knew exactly what was going to happen. And Giroud apparently has got blistering pace. I don't know where that's come from. De Gea, what are you doing? Didn't even ask him to come out. Mkhitaryan scored again. <laughs> well, if this is going to sum up what's going to happen for the next couple of months, Arsenal have done well with uh, picking up the Armenian. Although, I don't know why De Gea came out here. I, d I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him to do it. And if he was going to do it, he had to commit. And he didn't. It took too long. And there we have it. So, at least we've had some goals. <laughs> All coming in the second half, apart from Lukaku's uh, weird one in the first. But there we have it. I thought it'd be a little bit of bants, a little bit of fun today to uh, do Mkhitaryan versus Alexis. If I wasn't playing on Legend... Yeah, I probably would have more of a chance. But anyway, there it is. I'm looking forward to seeing Sanchez play. Definitely. Uh, I think he's going to really bring something to United's game. And I hope Mkhitaryan does the same. There's the stats. 14 shots to 5. Man of the match, no surprise. Um, it's not uh, Mkhitaryan. No, it was Jeru. Interesting. Anyway, we'll be back very, very shortly. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But until next time, let me know your thoughts below on the, uh, the recent signings. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.